In the spirit of, of uh, uh, self-criticism and, and a frank discussion of this, I want to ask you about uh, Intel itself. Intel was once the unrivaled uh, dominant force in your industry. It, it created the modern semiconductor semiconductor industry, and even given what you say about subsidies from abroad, uh, part of the story of America losing its lead uh, goes to companies like like Intel and the management that, that preceded you. I'm not asking you to, to second guess uh, your, your predecessors beyond the basic question of whether Intel's management let some of that incredible advantage we had slip away. It wasn't just foreign subsidies, it was mistakes that were yeah. made at home. Am I right? Absolutely. You know, and I'll just say, you know, Intel, you know, lost its way. Um, and uh, we had uh, non-technical leadership of the most important technology company in America for a decade and a half. You know, some of that falls, um, you know, the choices that were made, some of that clearly goes to the board of uh, directors and the choices that they made. Uh, some of it was hey, we tried certain things, we stumbled and we failed on different programs as well. But the confluence of those board decisions, management decisions, technology, you know, stumble, you know, has taken one of the great technology icons of America and we're not leading uh, anymore. And uh, part of my coming in was to turn the company around. And as I uh, made the decision, I had a great job as a CEO, we just had a great eighth grandchild, life was good and life was comfortable. And David, when my wife and I made the decision to take this assignment on, we saw it as restoring Intel, the great technology icon in honor of the founders. You know, I grew up at the feet of Andy Grove, Gordon Moore, you know, Robert Noyce, the icons of the semiconductor industry. I just named a site after Gordon Moore. We're soon gonna name one after Andy Grove. We are going to honor our legacy and rebuild this icon. But second, we need to rebuild our supply chains. You know, clearly COVID has shown that we became, you know, dependent on narrow, fragile supply chains. This is so important to the world. We need globally balanced, resilient supply chains. And third, we need to rebuild this technology underpinning for our great nation as well. And that's why I've taken this job. And it is a big, tough assignment but it is so critical for the future of the company, the technology industry and our nation that, uh, hey, I believe this is where God wants me and this is the assignment I have today to fix the stumbles that I will certainly admit and pro yep, Intel you know, had those and it's now my job to restore this great company to the leadership position for our nation.